urea cycle. Urea cycle has series of reactions that occur in the liver in order to convert the toxic ammonia that is nothing but the product of amino acid catabolism to urea which is the molecule with two amine groups. Failure of the urea cycle which is mainly genetic or in the cirrhosis leads to hyperammonemia which leads to hepatic encephalopathy. Symptoms of hyperammonemia includes vomiting, lethargy and neurological symptoms like flapping head tremor, ataxia, intellectual impairment, seizures, behavioral changes, eventually coma and death if it is not corrected. And excess ammonium that is NH4 depletes alpha ketoglutarate activity which leads to inhibition of the TCA cycle. The treatment of hyperammonemia includes limit protein intake or administer benzoate or phenyl butyrate to decrease ammonia levels. The first step is the conversion of carbon dioxide and ammonia into carbamoyl phosphate and it is a rate limiting step mediated by the enzyme carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1. And uh, the allosteric activator is N-acetyl glutamate and the step consumes two molecules of ATP and this step takes place in the mitochondria and the ammonia in this reaction provides the first amine groups in the urea. The carbamoyl moiety is transferred to the non-proteinogenic amino acid ornithine to form citrulline and this step also takes place in the mitochondria then citrulline is transported into the cytoplasm and this enzyme in the step is ornithine transcarbamylase and it is the most common inherited urea cycle disorder is a deficiency of ornithine transcarbamylase it is X-linked disorder more commonly seen in males and signs and symptoms of ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency includes where it is often evident in the first few days of life but may appear later and uh, there will be increase in the orotic acid in the blood as well as urine because of excess carbamyl phosphate is converted into orotic acid a pyrimidine and synthesis intermediate and also decrease in the blood urea nitrogen and no urea produced due to the enzyme deficiency so aspartate condenses with citrulline to form arginosuccinate this reaction is catalyzed by a cytosolic enzyme called as arginosuccinate synthetase so here the amino group on the aspartate provides the second amine found in the urea and it requires the cleavage of ATP to AMP and pyrophosphate is released in the reaction. And here the next step the arginosuccinate is cleaved into arginine and fumarate by arginosuccinate lyase is the enzyme and the fumarate is converted to malate and malate is converted to oxaloacetate. So this series of reactions occurs in the cytosol and generates the reduced NADH. So here the oxaloacetate so formed in the reaction is converted into aspartate by transaminases ensuring that the flow of nitrogen into the cycle is maintained constantly and arginase 1 catalyzes hydrolysis of arginine to yield urea and to generate ornithine and by this the urea cycle steps are completed.